Hi everyone, today I decided to do a video to answer 20 of your questions that you posted for me so that you could get to know me a little bit better. So the first one is, do you do freelance work or do you work for a company? And do you work on shoots for movies? The answer is, I'm a freelance makeup artist. I just, you know, do makeup for proms, weddings, parties, whatever the occasion is. And uh, no, I've never worked for a counter before. The times that I've tried, it hasn't worked out, and they make it seem like I'm overqualified. And they wind up telling me that I should go do makeup on Broadway, which I've done some off-Broadway shows, and it's a great experience. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, and I've done uh, makeup for some uh, short films, which has been a blast. I love doing that. So if I ever get a chance to do makeup for movies and whatever, and whatnot, yeah, I would definitely take the opportunity. Number two, what do you do for a living? Uh, the answer is I am a certified early childhood education teacher. I do my freelance makeup work, so that's how I get by. Question number three, have you done any serious mo modeling? The answer is uh, no, I haven't. Question number four, tell us how you met your fiance and when are you marrying him? I met my fiancé one day when I was uh, getting out of class with one of my best friends and we were both hungry and it was so late, it was around 9 or 10 at night so we went to a coffee shop and I got like a rice pudding or something and I saw my friends there, my friends were actually there and my fiancé was just like on the table with his head down and my friend woke him up and he introduced him to me and then as soon as he was done like shaking my hand he went right back to the table and put his head down and knocked out because um, he had just gotten back from Egypt visiting Egypt so that's how I met him and when do I plan to marry? sometime next year god willing now, question number five have you ever considered living outside of uh, the US and do you like traveling? Yes, I have considered it, and I would definitely love to live in different parts of the world. I love to travel. Uh, I haven't done a lot of traveling, but every time I get a chance to and actually do go somewhere, I, I enjoy it immensely. Question number six. If you weren't into makeup, what else would you be into? I think that if I weren't into makeup, I would definitely be into singing. I love to sing. I'm always singing. I don't think I have that great of a voice, but um, yeah, I enjoy it so much. I like going karaoke. And that's always a blast. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, what else? What else? Question number seven. How did you start getting into makeup and knowing you had a talent with it? Did you learn at a school or did you already know how to do it? But just became more advanced after school. I got into makeup, I guess you could say when I was in high school. I used to uh, be in the school plays and I used to do makeup for the plays. And I also used to just experiment at home with whatever makeup I had, which wasn't a lot. So yeah, uh, that's that. And oh, the only class I've ever taken uh, for makeup was in college when I was getting my bachelor's in theater. And they had, they just offered one class, so throughout those four years, I only took one makeup class, and I learned a couple of things, but that was it. Um, you can only learn so much from just one class, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much self-taught. Question number eight, what is your favorite beauty product that you couldn't live without? I have three. One is definitely eyeliner, actually four then. Eyeliner, mascara, lip gloss, and blush. Can't pick between those. I, well, I guess if I had to, I'd probably pick the lip gloss because I need to have my lips moisturized all the time. Alright, and the other part of that question was, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is mm, seedless grapes and bananas. Question number nine. What is your background? My background. Alright, my dad is Ecuadorian, Lebanese, and Spaniard. And my mom is Spaniard, El Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. Question number 10. 
Were you born in the Middle East? The answer is no. I wasn't born in the Middle East. I was born in New York. I was born in Queens. Question number 11. What is your most favorite look that you have done on a tut uh, tutorial on? The answer is probably the, the look I did recently, the black and silver look. I think that's pretty decent. Question number 12. Uh, which part of the U.S. do you live in? I live in Jersey. Would you ever do a meet and greet like some of the other gurus? The answer is yes, I would love that. I think that would be amazing. And it's funny because um, one time I was at this event and it ended early and you know, this lady comes up to me, she taps me on the shoulder and she's like, are you Eile from YouTube? And you know, I just I was thrilled with joy. And then she recognized my fiance from the Frankenstein makeup I did on him. She's like, you're Frankenstein, right? So, you know, we were both really happy with that. And then that same day, once the event was over, we went outside and there was, you know, everybody was standing around talking and these girls come up to me and they're like, you're Eile, right? And they're like, oh, we love your videos, you know, you do such a great job. And I was just, you know, thrilled with joy. I had an ear-to-ear -ear smile the whole day and it was really nice. So, if you ever see me anywhere, say hello. Question number 13. Do you have hair? The answer is yes, I have hair on my scarf and I chose to cover it, so that's that. Will we ever see your hair? No, you won't. <laughs> and that's the way it's going to stay, so sorry for those of you who want to know details. Question number 14. What are your views on Muslims wearing makeup? I think if you want to wear a little bit of makeup, that's cool. And I know once I post this video, people are like, well, how come you wear this and how come you wear that? The answer is, this is like my art therapy. I love makeup, it's my art, I enjoy doing it, it's, it's calming for me, and I, I just enjoy it. In the end, what I want to just do is, you know, enjoy my art and help you guys out with, you know, learning how to do certain things that you might not know how to do. So, my intentions are pure at heart, so if you don't like it, can't say anything but to X out. Just the the browser and just you know if you don't like me or my videos or the way I'm representing myself don't watch the videos it's as simple as that there's no need to leave me negative comments alright so having said that I think I was on question 15 have you ever worked for any particular makeup companies no I haven't would I yeah sure uh, what else question who do you think has the most perfect face for makeup celebrity uh, I would say I love, I think she's gorgeous, what's her name, Julia Roberts, and of course Angelina Jolie, she's beautiful, but Julia Roberts, when you know, she's all dolled up, she looks amazing, she looks like a doll, I love her, and she has the most gorgeous smile. Question number 17, can you write in Arabic? The answer is no, I can't. I was teaching myself, but it's, it's really hard, unless you keep up with it, you're going to have a tough time, but yeah, I, I don't. Write it or read it. Question number 18. Is it hard being a Muslim in the U.S.? The answer is, sometimes it can be. I've gotten myself into situations where, you know, people have been very nasty to me on the street for no reason at all. I haven't, you know, looked at them in any particular way or said anything to them or, they, you know, just come out and say something nasty to me. So, it can be tough, but, you know, you just gotta stick to your beliefs and, you know, not let anybody bring you down. You have to be firm, and in the end, they're your beliefs, and that's what counts. If somebody doesn't respect that, then just get away from them and ignore them. Yeah, especially if they're being nasty. Uh, question number 19. What is your favorite makeup brand? I don't really have one. I like all brands. <laughs> makeup is makeup. I, I like to try everything, so I don't really have one. Question number 20. What brand would you like to try that you haven't already? The answer is everything. I want to try everything out there. I love all makeup. I'll try anything. Um, I love to improvise. So, having said that, you know, I don't think a makeup artist should limit themselves to just one brand. It's good to try different stuff, see what's out there, experiment. That's what making art is all about. So, those were 20 facts about me, or 20 answered questions to get to know me better, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.